Versus the, hi YouTube versus the Ice Princess coming at you again from Minnesota. I um I did this hair <laughs> and it does get frizzy and all that kind of stuff because it's kind of hard to keep something on it when you're sleeping. So you know what? It comes with this little net that my grandmother used to use when I was a kid. So I put this net on with it and it's kind of keeping it from getting too frizzy and too crazy even though I like crazy big hair but um anyway cause this drag queen once told me a long time ago big girl big hair itsy bitsy girl itsy bitsy hair so I'm a big girl so big hair um this hair is by Sensational and it's uh how you say it Canubia Can Canubia or something like this and it's 18 inches loose wave weave and so, um, first time trying to do a little invisible part on my own head. I think I did a pretty good job. Shouts out to Seaborn, because he's the one who taught us all how to do it. Anyway, taught me how to do it. So, um, I had got this stuff from the beauty supply store, this wet and wavy. It was four forty nine. I don't like the way it works. But, you know, it's it does define the wave, don't get me wrong, but I don't really like it. I just like simple things, so I just put some little um, coconut oil on the hair and call it a day. So here's the hairstyle. So, um, that's about it for the product review for the Canubia Sensational Loose Wave Weave. 18 inches, black. And I wanted to talk about, before I go, I wanted to talk about um, Housewives of Atlanta. Because poor little Nene, she just been getting dogged out for the past couple of weeks. You know what I mean? Cynthia's husband don't want her to have nothing to do with Cynthia. That's really bad when you're in a situation where you have a good friend, but her husband don't like you. You know, I've been in that situation before where me and this girl, you know, we're really good friends, hang out together, talk on the phone. I mean, and it takes a lot for me to be your friend. Because I'm not the type of person who even believes in a whole bunch of friends. You know what I mean? It's like easy come, easy go. But when the husband don't like you for whatever particular reason, I guess you can call it jealousy. You know, that's a sad thing. And I wanted to talk about again my girl Nicki Minaj. I love Nicki Minaj. Don't get me wrong. You know, I used to be all on the Little Kim. I was probably one of the only ones back in the day who really enjoyed Little Kim and who, who was, you know, able to admit it as a grown-ass woman. But it's like Little Kim, it's like she always hating on everybody that comes out that's a little bit similar to her or she feels threatened by this person for whatever reason and I don't understand it. It's ridiculous. You know what I mean? There's so much money out there to go around. Why would you want to hate on another sister for doing what you did? You know? And of course you're going to be the first. You got to be the first to do something. You know what I mean? And if you really want to get down to it, Lil' Kim probably wasn't even the first to act raunchy on no record. Because my grandmother and mother used to listen to Millie Jackson when I was a kid and she was real raunchy. And before her, there was another lady called Moms Mabley and she was raunchy. You understand what I'm saying? So I love, I love, I adore um, Nicki Minaj. I think she is the sweetest, sweetest girl. She is kind hearted. You know, I seen a special where she did, it was called uh, It's My Turn Now. And the way she just stopped her limousine and gave these kids um, autographed pictures of her, took pictures with them, that's something that you don't see people do on an ordinary basis no more. People be acting all like they uppity, all high and mighty, like they too good to even stop to say hi to you. You know, so for the fact that Nicki Minaj did that, and then for the other fact that she's a Christ follower like me, I'm sorry, if you, I'm a Christ follower all day long, she a Christ follower, and I think she's just a beautiful person inside and out, you know what I mean? People shouldn't really just hate on people for whatever particular reason. I don't know when we women gonna stop being so jealous of each other and so catty. It's just ridiculous. I can't stand that song Lil' Kim put out called Black Friday. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Why would you even want to waste your time doing something like that as a woman? You understand all this beefing back and forth, beefing back and forth? What's that all about? I truly hope that Nikki do not respond to that whack 
whack ass shit that Lil' Kim put out. Because it's just ridiculous. You know what I mean? Nikki, just keep doing what you do. And I'm going to just keep loving you because you are special. And there is more to you than the eyes can see. You ain't all about the package on the outside because there's something going on inside of Nikki on the inside. Don't sleep on it. And I want to give shots out to Seaborn at Celebrity Stylist because me and my sister will be coming to you to get our hair done by February. Peace.